Hey, so I haven't made a tutorial video in a while and I thought I'd just share this quick tip on how to do wireframe renders in Arnold. So I'm working on this sci-fi kit bash, uh, which I'll release on Gumroad, etc. So there's you know a lot of texture work on it and I don't want to get rid of that when I do my wireframe. Okay, so there's the render. Now if I want to do a wireframe on this, I need to replace the material and if you hunt around in the Arnold material stuff, you can find. Just let's, let's look for a wireframe. So we've got this wireframe Arnold utility material. So let's grab that. So if we want to render a map, so this is a texture map rather than a, a surface shader, we need to use something called a map to material node. So we can find that in utilities. We can also just type in up here. We can type map to material, and I'm going to grab the Arnold version, and then we're just going to wire this wireframe into our material there. So I could go into my scene and just assign this. Um, material to everything, but I'm not going to do that. Um, instead I'm going to use some feature inside Arnold. So in the Diagnostics tab we have this Shader Override option and this will replace all the materials in the scene with um, your override material. It's really useful for diagnosing issues because uh, you don't have to replace materials in the scene. So let's just drag the wire out, drop it into there. It's going, I'm going to make it an instance so I can make tweaks. So the default here is set to triangles. So if I render now, uh, you can see everything's triangulated and that's ugly. And as this is also a product, I don't want to give the false impression that, that the object is triangulated when in fact it's designed for subdivision. Let's just change this to polygons and render again. Ah, see, it doesn't work. It is broken. Uh, I'm a bit surprised it's still broken because it's been broken for a while. So we've got to have a fix for this. Um, uh, there is a workaround which I'm going to show you how to do now. Right then, so I'm going to select all the objects in the scene. I'm going to go into my modifiers. I'm going to select an Arnold property. So now all the objects in the scene have this Arnold property. So let's just examine this. So just do a quick render with just that no change. If I go into subdivision enable and render it again so what this is doing is it's subdividing at render time so you can see all these squares are now um, half the size because we've subdivided by a factor of one. Um, I actually don't want that because I've already applied subdivision with my turbo smooth so I'm just dial this down to zero and render it again and now we have a nice, clean wireframe made up of quads, which reflects the actual polygon density of my model. So if I unhide everything by using my isolate selection toggle, we can render again. And now we have the object properly rendered um, with the correct wireframe. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that quick tip. I hope this helps you when you present your work. Hopefully I'll see you all on my next live stream. My sci-fi kit bash is going to start appearing on my Gumroad and my ArtStation accounts very soon. And please like and subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this.